Alright guys, welcome back to another Patreon request, and as always, if you'd like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my fourth, in, to uh, my Patreon, um, which is in the link in the description below, and if you guys hit the fourth tier, you can not only send me requests for videos to do here on YouTube, um, but also uh, check out the exclusive content over on uh, Patreon as well. Um, so, let's get into it with uh, a request from Alistair Bondman, who asked me to do a... who basically asked me to do a, not so much crossover, but more of a Marvel te a good old-fashioned Marvel team-up. Basically what this is, is a team-up between Captain America and X-23 after she became Wolverine. Now, technically they never really met other than a tie-in in, um, Secret Empire, and that was when they were fighting each other. So that was so that was about it. But we never really got to see. We've never really had Steve and Laura Kinney really hang out. So Alistair Boneman asked me to do a team up story between Cap and Laura after she became Wolverine for a hot minute. And there is like a good time frame between um, uh, before Steve became. You know, Steve got all uh, like Steve went all Hydra, and Laura became. You know. Uh, and during that time when Laura became Wolverine before the uh, Secret Wars thing happened. So this is shortly before Secret Wars. This is like a little, like, uh, just a fast, like, hey, this story, like, this is a story that happened we and you never heard about it. So basically what it is is that Laura is more or less fighting her, like, basically um, fighting her way through hand ninjas. And as she's fighting her way through members of the hand and cutting her way through them, uh, a shield comes flying in and just decapitates one of the ninjas, and it's Steve Rogers. And she's like, Captain... And she she's like, holy shit, that's a, that's Captain America. I've only met him, like, a, like twice in my life, so holy shit, Steve Rod, uh, You know, Steve Rogers, Captain America, one of Logan's best friends. Like, one of the people Logan called one of his best friends. And here I am talking to him. And Steve's like, um, Laura, right? Um, I don't think we've ever really properly met. I, and she's like, yeah, you're Steve Rogers. Uh, why did you come all the way out here to, and I forgot to mention the city, like, he, she was fighting the, a hand, a, a, fighting members of the hand in, um, in Singapore. And she was like, what are you doing in Singapore? I was out here helping dealing with the hand who were bothering a, a, mem a friend of mine, Tiger Tiger, who is the crime leap boss of uh, Mandrapore. What are you doing out here? And he's like, well, I came all this way because I needed your help. It's kind of a last rights thing. There's something that Wolf when Logan died, um, there was something, it, Logan basically asked me to take care of something and I need your help to do it. Um, it was, I think it was, like, Steve basically ex explains that, like, Logan and I, like, Logan always joked that I would outlive him, no matter what, and he said, basically, if uh, I ever really did die before you did, there's something I want you to do for me. So, this is it, like, this is, like, my, la like, uh, last rites of, Lo like, Logan's last rites, and I could use your, helps to, your help to do it. So, essentially what it is, is that Wolverine... Reve like, Logan revealed to Steve that he... Like, he basically tells him, like, cards on the table, you know me, Steve, I have murdered a lot of innocent people in my life. And, you know, I've been trying to make up my life... You know, all my life I've tried to, like, make up for all the people I have... Sl innocent people I've slaughtered, and some of the people I have, like, even killed in, in pure rage. So, basically, I put... A ma I made a journal. I made a whole-ass journal... Of and once I got you know, once I remembered everything, I would always remember the names of the people I killed and the ones. Who, and I've more or less logged. It took me months to do it, but I basically logged all the names and dates I murdered someone. So when I look through it, I can remember why I keep doing all this. Why do I keep joining all these teams when I should just be like, nope, I I, I can't join another team, guys. I know I'm all Mr. Popular out here, but I need to put on some. Um, boundaries. He's not like that. This is basically like Wolverine is like his own secret punishment whenever he takes a life. And unfortunately, when Steve, uh, you know, Steve Rogers, when Rogers went to go bury it and, you know, take it and, you know, keep it, it's gone missing. And there's a problem. Guess who has it? Omega fucking Red. Yeah, Omega Red has basically taken, um, 
what belong uh, like Logan's whole thing. Like he basically stole Logan's um, diary and is now using it to hunt down the family members of the people he's killed is like an extra fuck you to like kind of rub dirt in Wolverine's eye like haha you can't protect these people who you whose lives you've already ruined from me and it's like him just being petty it's just it's just a it's just Omega Red being fucking petty to uh, to um to Wolverine in his death and Laura can't have that so Steve and Laura um team up to um, they, you know, basically team up to stop Omega Red from killing everyone on that, on that, in that diary. So Wolver, so they basically talk, like they basically have this conversation because at this point, Laura is still getting used to being calling herself Wolverine, and she's like, you know, you knew, you were one of Steve's friends, right? And he's like, I like to think, and Steve's like, I like to think so. Logan and I had our differences, but I always respected the man. Like he and I were old soldiers, like. We knew what it, what it was like to do these hard choices. And I don't think, lo like, I learned to move past it. I learned to overcome all of that because I, th I always try to look to the future. Logan, I don't think, could, uh, could stomach. Um, I looked to, uh, look to, uh, to, uh, to my fellow man. Logan looked to a bottle. But th that was until he met, you know, the X-Men. And when he met you, Laura... When he met you, you know, when he found out you, about you, he didn't stop. He didn't, like, he, he wanted to be better for your sake. And I think you are more, you are the only person worthy of taking this mantle. You are the only person in existence to take on that mantle and to be that person. He is, like, I think it was, it would be a crime if you just decided not to do it. So they eventually do like they basically follow um, Omega Red's um, like whole trail of bodies he's been leaving, and Cap is like and Cap's like this is gonna stop like he like and I've always thought like Omega Red honestly and I can't be the only one who's thought that Omega Red would make such a good Captain America villain I've always like and you may think well he's a Wolverine villain yeah but Sabretooth started out as an Iron Fist villain. Um, Kingpin started out as a Spider-Man villain before going to Daredevil, mostly. Um, there's been multiple times where villains showed up in, in in one comic and became the villain to someone else. So in my mind, I'm like Omega Red is like the is like a perfect Captain America villain. So that's why I wanted to use him in this story. Um, but yeah, so Omega uh, and, so Omega Red and. Uh, cap fight and he's just like you know that super soldier serum isn't going to save you from my death tendrils and he's like i don't have you know i don't have to stop you i just have to distract you and this is when laura comes in and just gets him like jumps on his back and just starts stabbing him repeatedly in the back like with her foot claws too um and eventually omega red is like driven away and thankfully it was right before he got to the next name on that list which was a orphan child that was now living with a, with a foster family because Wolverine um, murdered their, his parents during Enemy of the State in his, in a mind, during his mind control state. So um, the kid, like who's now like four, year, four or five years old, he's like, who are you? And she goes, Wolverine. <laughs> and she's like, I like Wolverine because she didn't understand like, but the foster parents know you're wearing the face of this kid's murderer. Like you're the, your dad or the person you're, you're 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 pretending to be is the reason that kid's an orphan. And Steve like um, corrects him, saying, you know, he wasn't in his right mind. That was a good man, and this is a good woman, you know, who can take on that mantle and maybe make something positive of it. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much our X twenty three Captain America team up. So you know, I'd like to thank Alistair Bowman for sending me this request. Other than that, uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.